Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Craft to Exile. Uh, so today we're going to be picking back up where we left off. We're going to tackle the rest of that roguelike and do what we came there to do. Uh, which is get some gear, get some levels, and get ready for the Ender Dragon. Uh, to make, maybe make it a little bit more possible of a fight. Uh, and then we will see about tackling the Ender Dragon. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump back into it. Is this uh that's a witch spawner. I definitely want to leave that until we get at least one more witch kill. I hear ya. I see ya. There we go. Quest completed. We have killed our required witches. Alright, now this room... I'm going to have to take out that witch spawner. The wither skeleton one's the bigger concern, though, but... I guess at the same time, though, this is actually a really good place to get the, uh... The XP that we need. I do want to deal with this witch, though. The witch spawner. And then maybe we can, since this is the last room, we can at least farm up the remainder XP that we need to get our level while we get some Wither Skeleton uh, Skull Fragments, because I do want to try to get the uh, the three Nether Stars before long that we're going to need for that one quest. Because I kind of don't want to use my, uh, my current Nether Star, because I need it for quest progress, and, you know, because I need all three of them at the same time. Now what do we get here? We got 1,250 XP and then a level 5 Jewelry Crafter's Crate. Wonderful. Kill some feral wolves, kill some hungers, that's the quest there. And then get orbs of transmutation. We can actually get that really, really easy. Let's see what we got here. Probably a bunch of junk. Unidentified level 4 rare charm. And a level 8 necklace. Okay, that stuff's junk. Uh... Well, I'll tell you what, I do have the orbs that we need. Oh, we get respect potions. And I think we actually get them whenever we kill the Ender Dragon, too. So, uh, probably because we're kind of required to respect for the Ender Dragon. Uh, so, it makes a bit of sense there. Uh, and let me go ahead and just pop this. I don't see us dying here. And uh, this is actually fairly easy. So, uh... So we get these, and we get 500 XP there, and then they want us to get an enchanting table, and then this stuff here. Okay. Alright, so let's, let's kill ourselves some wither skeletons. Looks like we do have a couple uh, additional little like side rooms there. I don't know why I threw that there. I do see a green sword. Which I'm not expecting anything probably better than what we've already found because we do have a blue sword that we have to scan. That's diamond level. I saw that mob spawn, but I think we'll be okay. Um, and we have a blue hammer that's actually pretty good. Man, a lot of guys spawning there. Ha ha! Follow the leader! Follow the leader! Yeah, it takes me forever to kill stuff with melee at the moment. Uh, let's see. I finally ate through all those potato cakes. All right, now right now we have almost enough uh, fragments to spawn a single wither, and I think I took all of them out. Uh, so that should be everything that we've got at the moment. So, so much stuff here. What have we got here? Fire, uh, feather falling, fire protection, and breaking. It seems like I just cannot get protection. Uh, like, everything I get is fire protection. Like, I don't even think that I've seen a protection enchant this entire time. It may be tuned up, though, with Apotheosis. That would be kind of cool, right? Oh. I mean, it's iron. But, uh... We're gonna hold on to that. Um, 
but it may be tuned up to where it's a high level enchant with apotheosis. Oh, no wonder I'm not doing any damage with my life because this thing has just about had it. I'm going to put it away for now. Oh, but I can't cast my spell now. Wait a second here. I can, uh... What did I do with it? I put it here. Okay, I'm going to repair this real quick. Because I was thinking, man, it's not doing like any damage at the moment. Uh, now I think everything else we've got is in pretty good shape at the moment. Uh, so we'll just go with that and then I might, might go ahead and repair this and then maybe this. Okay, now I'm trying to get over to here at the moment. That was going to be like impossible without a torch. But we do have enough uh, skull fragments. We... Oh my gosh. We do have enough skull fragments now to spawn the, uh, the wither once. And a pretty good start on another one. I need to clean up. I don't know. I'm probably going to have to... Uh, Oh gosh, that's a big boss one. Ah. Oh, oh, I see a purple axe. And we know we got more wither spawners, but I am just about to level, so. There we go, there's our level. Come right over here. Because I think this looks like a great place for you. And then after we kill this guy, we will probably... Uh, I don't know. Oh, this guy uh, seems to be regening health. Which we have zero XP, so we'll be able to see kind of what a champion gives us in terms of XP. This guy it takes forever to kill him. Trying to keep him over here. Because he kind of starts losing interest. Uh, we got 13,000 XP for him. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we also almost have enough XP to... Or not enough XP, but enough uh, Wither Skeleton Fragments. To do our other two summons. So that might... Uh, that might be worth going for, to be honest. Because we just need like 11 more fragments. But I have a feeling that we are about to enjoy some very nice loot checking after this dungeon. Because we've actually gotten quite a bit of good stuff in here. And we do have enough uh, skull fragments now to spawn our other uh, wither. Ah, so many mobs down there. I didn't mana. In a bad sort of way here. Oh, we got an elite wither skeleton down there. Oh, so many wither skeletons. Hey. I don't know where in the world he came from, to be honest. Uh, but we do have a full stack of Wither Skull Fragments now. Um, I think I would feel okay leaving now. We've actually gotten a lot of stuff out of here. We got like half a level. I mean, we could push on to level 28. I don't know though. Since I'm getting such good XP here, I'm really debating about if I should just stay 
and finish out this level. I'm actually getting a lot of purple wither skeletons though here. Plus we're getting some extra skull fragments. I might. Just because uh, any little bit that any little bit'll help and being like a couple levels over minimum for the Ender Dragon and for the Spectres might actually be a good idea. Because I'd hate to get there and then have to turn around and be like, well, I need one more level. So yeah, I'm probably going to farm up one more level here. Oh, I'm glad I stayed. A legendary medium currency treasure box. The only bad thing is all this junk that I've been getting. Plus, I'd hate to leave now. My backpack's not full yet. It's almost full, but it's not quite full. Uh, let's see what we get here. Oh, those look like potentially some really good things. Oh. Okay. Uh, what did we get here? We got a painful lesson. Uh, have the map's loot bonus to quadruple the experience bonus. I was actually looking at that the other day. I was like, man, it'd be kind of nice to run uh, maps maybe for... Oh, well, there went that. For, like, quadruple experience. But, yeah, this, this area is just such good XP to pass up. Not to mention, this is actually the last level that I'll get full XP, uh, because then we'll be uh, six levels ahead of it, so... We'll stop getting full XP and full drops. I may as well make use of it for now. Plus, whenever, like, uh, epics or champions spawn, like that guy, he's going to be worth a fair amount of XP. Like, you could honestly just stay in the overworld and do roguelikes like this to, like, level 35. And the sad thing is, I think it's better for leveling than going to the nether. Because these mobs actually give, I think, more XP. Because uh, you get a lot more, like, purple and orange spawns i mean we've been technically able to spawn oranges for a long time but never did we never found one until uh we come here and we've had a few you know of course it might be because this is the bottom floor oh another green hammer oh another another uh elite i'm gonna have to repair this again I think I could actually make it, though, to the level up, though. Because right, we don't have that much left. Elite Lightning Wither Skeleton. And I could go ahead, I guess, and buff up... Uh, let's go Wisdom. And then we'll go... Another Point in Lightning Spear, because why not? We're about to respec it. And then let's take a little bit more Magic Shield. I just saw another blue drop. Getting a lot of good drops out of here. Green charm. Oh, and we're so close to leveling. How much, uh, we've got a lot of Wither Skull Fright. Oh, whoa! Champion Wither Skeletons of Leeching. I'm glad we got this as, like, one of our last spawns before we level. Looks like he leeches health, probably. But he doesn't passively regenerate, so... This one's quite a bit easier than the last one. Ah, uh, he dropped... Nothing, I guess. That's fine. I didn't really want to farm off of, uh... These spawners, but then it was like, well, we're here, we've got almost enough Wither Skulls. So may as well. And then it's like, well, we're almost about to level, but we're literally about to level, and then this place is going to be of no more value to us, because we're going to out-level it. Uh, but we will have gotten, what? Uh, did we really get three levels? Because we were at 25, right, at the start, I think? Because I was one level below being able to start the end, or the technical level for the end, and then wind up being two levels above it now. I mean, it's possible we could even do it now without respecting, because we're going to have some really good stuff. Uh, but I think we will probably respec, because, I mean, this spec... There's no benefit to having it for the Ender Dragon, uh, because it's almost useless against Spectres. And then on top of that, it's pretty much useless on the Ender Dragon. So, But we will have, uh, like, almost a thousand health, probably over a thousand health once we respec. 
Because melee. Oh, this may be our last mob, too. Perfect. Anything? I don't think so. And he is not our last. We got a couple more kills. There we go. There is our level up. So we are now level 28. I know. That's fine. And we're going to get on out of here now. We have done all the damage that we set out to do and then some. Uh, not to mention we have 51 levels at the moment. I'm going to take out like 6. And we're going to warp on out of here. Back to... Quiris. And we'll go ahead and take... Uh, just because we can. We're going to take a point to wisdom, point in vitality. And uh, we're going to take... That and that. And we'll take that. So we're actually pretty close to uh, where we were aiming to get to. But we're about to race back it, so... Alright, let me head back home and we are going to begin digging into our wonderful world of loot. Okay, so we're back home. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some nifty gear. Now, we've got quite a bit of unidentified stuff. Uh, so let me go ahead and get that. Uh, we got a bow here. I'm not expecting too much out of that, but we'll go ahead and check it. Did we get any? No, we didn't get anything there. Um, okay, so we got... A bunch of stuff. What? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, wow, <laughs> three rune slots on that. Uh, it gives us a dex of nine. And then it gives us three rune slots. That's actually pretty good. Our current charm right now is this right here. Um, so that's going to give us a lot of rune slots. We'll go ahead and switch it. Um, we got some cloth pants, which ideally we're going to be moving away from cloth pants. Uh, a lot of rune slots on that. We got a diamond sword here with 29 to 49 physical attack damage uh, and some attack lifesteal. Now that is very promising, but our axe is 20 to 32, which is going to be hard to really get a good idea let's uh let's go ahead and respec first we're gonna do just a full reset so we currently have 253 health wonderful wonderful and none of our gear works anymore okay so to equip most of our stuff i think for the the tankier stuff it's gonna be a combination of strength vitality maybe a little bit of dexterity in some places but mainly strength, vitality, and stamina. Uh, vitality is going to be our health and our armor. Uh, strength is going to be our physical attack damage and crit damage. Uh, stamina is going to be our health regen, energy, and energy regen. Um, dodge rating. Let's see. And let's take a look at our spells, because we're going to be going with divine, um, because that is kind of more of a tanky thing. Uh, and we do get pluses to physical attack damage, health regen, mana regen, magic shield regen, energy regen, mana, health, energy. Um, whereas Storm was, well, it's actually all the same stats. But if we take the, us, um, yeah, this is going to buff us up. We'll see what our health looks like after we just take these points, for starters. Um... And we'll give it a second. 497. So that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we can also take, let's see, Healing Wave heals allies in front of you. I don't know if it heals me, though. Because I don't have allies. Purifying Fire uh, converts physical weapon damage to fire and attacks enemies in melee. And can be set as right-click on melee weapons. Enrage. Judgment. At max stacks, consumes the stacks, deal extra damage based on the applicator's physical weapon damage. Uh, then we also have these buffs, like Bravery, which gives health, block chance, and strength. Trickery, which gives crit hit chance, energy regen, and dex. That would be more for, like, archers. And then we have Wizardry, which does elemental spell damage, mana regen, and intelligence. Uh, I think we definitely... See, I don't know if it affects me, though. It just says... Applies buff to all nearby allies. So I'm assuming maybe it sees me as a, a ally. Provoke, which is a taunt. We don't want that. 
Unless maybe we were summoning mobs or something. Uh, defend buffs our armor and physical thorns. See, I feel like stuff like that would be good. Martyrdom converts health to damage enemies in melee. Skills with 12% health. Um, I don't know if it uh, actually takes health from us, though. It just shows a mana cost. So it's hard to say. Uh, converts armor to damage. Unleash to damage enemies in front of you. Charge, dash in your current direction, damaging all enemies in your path. And this can be set as a right click on staves and wands. It's a two second cooldown. 50 mana cost. We'll take a point in that because I want to see if it actually affects me. Uh, we'll take purifying fires, of course. Um, this only lasts for six seconds. Uh, bravery lasts for 600 seconds. We're going to take a point in that as well. Because I want to see if it affects me also. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do our stat points first. And we're going to take, uh, let's take strength up to 10. Let's take vitality up to 10. We'll just start with 10 for all of these. That up to 10. Um, wisdom is going to be our healing power and our mana regen. I feel like we're going to want at least a little bit of that, right? So we're going to take that up to like 5. That seems like strength is not scaling up anymore. Uh, it takes like two points to get a, to get anything out of that, really. Uh, so we're going to go like that. We're going to go 12, 12, 0, 6, 0, 12, which we do have good decks already uh, because of our rune, or our charm, I mean. Uh, so I think that'll be pretty good for us. And we have only 655 health. Ugh, okay. That's okay, because talents is where it's at, I think. Uh, so over here on talents, we can go either for the physical attack damage or the healing power. Um, I think we're probably going to go physical attack damage, though. Yeah, because this is like a lot of spell damage type stuff. Adds a flat physical attack damage equal to 1% of your maximum health. No. Let's take that. Uh, let's take... Ooh. I feel like getting more out of our health and armor would be good. So let's go with the additional armor and the extra health regen. Extra health, physical attack damage. Um, honestly, I feel like this side over here is pretty good too. Elemental resist, energy, or health. Uh, actually, that's not bad. Because basically it just cuts down on all of our other types of damage and just converts our damage over to physical damage. Um, as well as a lot of health. We also lose dodge, but it's not so bad. Block chance or physical attack damage and energy. There's some strength. Let's go this way and go down through physical attack damage. Get that point into strength. Let's see what kind of weapon we're planning on using. And let me set up my bars because I need to see. Uh, we're going to say first bar is bravery. Second bar is healing wave. Or let's go uh, healing wave and then bravery. This one has more lifesteal. Uh, and it does really more just damage. I guess because it's a higher level. Uh, it also already comes stocked with looting 2 and fire aspect 1 but this has a higher base attack damage by 3 a little bit lower attack speed I don't know though I feel like that axe might be pretty good this pack could really use like a target dummy um, let's try to enchant this axe and just see what we end up getting let's take the unbreaking 3 uh, we got looting 3 here Let's see. Knockback 2, Unbreaking 3, Looting 3. Okay. I, I really don't think we can get Sharpness at this stage uh, through Enchanting. Oh, one thing we could do is uh, let's grab that, and that's going to complete a quest for us. That's just telling us about Apotheosis Enchanting, and there's Icy Thorns. Sounds like we have a Wandering Trader. Yeah, let's smack his Llama. Uh, so that's 56. That's 43. Yeah, so the Axe is actually dealing more damage. 
Slightly lower attack speed, but I think it's going to be worth it. Now, bear in mind, of course, there is a range. We could have got lucky here and unlucky there. Um, but I just wanted to see. I mean, without a target dummy, it's kind of strange trying to uh, figure out DPS on stuff. But in that case, I think we're going to go for axe damage. Let me be extra careful here. Uh, but let's... I do want all this armor, so let's just go over for that. And then... Uh, then we'll go down here for all this axe damage. Reckless Blows is the decrease in our armor. I don't know about that. I feel like I want this and this and maybe that also. Because that armor is going to add up. And then let's take the stamina, the strength and stamina, and then we're out of points. So uh, hopefully that'll be good. These don't really... Wait, can we do like shift 19 to 24, 31 to 42 versus 25 to 32, 38 to 56? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell what any of this stuff does uh, as far as stats go. It's really awkward to read this stuff, basically. Uh, but okay, so we're going to use an axe, let's say. Uh, so we'll set our spell bar to use Purifying Fire. And let's see if Bravery affects us. It's because that's not Bravery, that's Purifying Fire. Wait, how much mana does that take? Or what is, what is, uh... Four, it takes more mana than I even have. Let's go through our armor then. This requires Strength and Vitality, gives us Nature, Spell Damage, and Vitality. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go with the us. Let me set this back up. Okay, and then for legs, we have... Unfortunately, it's mostly leather, but I mean, I could maybe make some uh, some diamond pants and maybe they'll come out to be good, but... We do have those, though. And that gives us extra strength and buffs our armor by a lot. Yeah, we're gonna go with those. Um, it looks like our boots are probably hurting us, too. So we take that off. We have over a thousand health. And our mana has now jumped up to 509. So I can now cast Bravery. Oh, it takes a little bit to cast. But hopefully it affects us. That's what I'm hoping. Yes, it does. Beautiful Bravery 2 uh, for a little over 10 minutes. Eats up our mana bar, but that's the nice thing about going with this is we're not consistently having to cast. We just have like a buff that stays up. Uh, so what all does Bravery do? It buffs our health by 7, block chance, and strength. Okay, so it's not a huge buff, but it is pretty good. Now, if we took another point to this, it's going to buff up the mana cost to 453. Another point doesn't buff the mana cost. There's 465. But I feel like stacking this as much as we can wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go 7 points. That's 478. I have to put that up. So it's going to be pretty much all of our mana, but it's something we can throw on before a fight. Oh, goodbye, Boots. I spent a lot of effort on you. But I just can't use you now. At least not at the moment. Uh, we got some Diamond Boots here. Got that, too. I think, honestly, going with, like, full Diamond Gear is going to be our best bet at the moment. Orb of Transmutation. We could maybe use that on me, although. Let's try it out. Let's try to make this into something useful for us. Um, okay, so we got a green with dodge and health, uh, plus 58 armor. Yeah, I like that. We throw that on and we have full defense, so this is going to be a lot better as far as uh, defensive. The defensive aspect, I think. Uh, we don't need that. There we go. We have a thousand health. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's put, let's put Bravery back up and see what our stats are with the new Bravery. I may have to take a few points into Intelligence whenever we do level, though. Let's see, our armor is at 422, 23% damage reduction. So it's pretty good, I think. <clears throat> I mean, it could be higher for sure, but... Um, okay, so now we need to take a look at things like necklaces and offhand. 
I don't know if we want to use an offhand or a shield. Probably a shield. Um, realistically. <laughs> but if we have a good shield anyways. And there's this one, which does crit, vitality, and health. That's actually a really good orb. Considering I didn't find a single, like, decent shield out of all that. Uh, oh, and we did get, we do have this. Uh, so this will be our new bracelet, because we can actually equip this thing now. Um, and it gives us health, strength, intelligence, frost resistance. Uh, so we actually have enough intelligence now. We have 555 mana. Uh, which means we have enough intelligence to wear other things now, too, if we wanted to. Which I think all of our stuff is already enchanted, except for this bracelet. Oh, we can't enchant it. I guess because it's unique. We have 1.1 thousand HP. Ah, I feel so strong. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, and I wanted to see if... Uh... I'm assuming that that heals us, right? Like for example, if I go up here and I take a fall or something, like I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it does probably affect me, but I want to be on the safe side and not bump a bunch of points into it, and then it actually not really do anything. Oh. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's nice. Because like when you're a caster, that's like that's where all of your stuff is, right? It would be okay if there was some kind of version of like a cantrip. Or you could just cast that. Uh, but having to wait on mana or bust um, is kind of meh, you know? Uh, when it comes to trying to do any kind of a spellcaster thing. Because then you're forced into having to melee or just stand there. Whereas with melee build, we'll be able to melee and heal and do all this like fun stuff, you know, all at once. So, okay. Now we have an absolute ton of runes. Uh, what all do I have with rune slots? And then we're going to uh, put the rest of our points in. We have this. And we have this. Which can't accept many runes. Okay, so we are going to, on this, we're going to add crit damage, armor, and healing spell. Or heaving, healing wave spell. It's going to be a pretty good charm, actually. Plus, with all of its decks. That's a lot of extra armor, I feel like, on a charm. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. And so if we take a look here at our spells... Yeah, we are 5 out of 16 on Healing Wave. Can't really see exactly how much it heals, though. But That's something I wish it would kind of give you some kind of a value. It says the base value is 120, so I'm guessing that's what it heals and then it scales. Uh, but we don't really know how much it scales. So it scales some amount. Let's put... Uh, we have 19 points. Let's put one more point into that. 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not raising the mana cost. Wow. Because, like, if I was a lightning mage, it would be, like, 200 right now. Um, you know, for any kind of a spell. That's another kind of downside, is it seems like mana costs go up as you level and as you rank them up. They go up to where you never feel like you have a lot of mana. You just feel weak all the time. Uh, judgment, attack to add additional stacks at max stacks. Consume the stacks, still extra damage based on the ap applicator's physical weapon damage. Uh, let's buff up purifying fires. Oh, it finally got a mana cost increase. Um, hits restore some energy to you. And hits have a chance to apply judgment. Let's take a couple things in that. Now, defend has a pretty high mana cost with a low duration. I think I'd rather pump... Oh, let's see. Charge would be nice. Martyrdom would be nice. Retribution would be nice. But I don't have the points, actually. Like, it's weird because there's a lot of things in here that I'd actually like to use. Um, honestly, I'm thinking about just buffing up Bravery to max. Go ahead and start with that. Because that's going to be the buff that I always keep on me. Uh, so I get maximum health and block chance and strength from that. Which I think is pretty good. Um, and then maybe... Uh, this damages enemies in front of us. Decent mana cost there. Uh, let's go ahead and just do another point into Healing Wave for now. Try to get Healing Wave and Bravery at max. And then maybe Purifying Fires. Um, defend. I don't know if it's really worth the mana cost for the duration. Because I don't have a lot of mana regen. Maybe. It's pretty good. But be good for big hits coming in. Actually, you know, it'd be good for um, Spectres. If we have issues with those... Taking points into defend so we could pop that as soon as we go in for a specter might be good, actually. Um, but that's all of our points set out. Now, I don't really have a good shield, unfortunately. Uh, the only shield I really have is this one. 
Um, I feel like a Crystal of Legend might be good, though. Uh, so we can get an additional secondary stat. And we got... Uh, we got another point of critical hit chance. So we have 11% on crit hit chance. And then let's do a chaos stat. See what we get. Uh, we ended up getting... It's minus 15%. Okay, we got uh, clumsy. It's minus... Oh, and we can't change that, can we? We're just stuck with minus physical damage. Okay, there's nothing, like, terribly cheap um, for fixing that axe, I don't think. Oh, but I love being able to use this. Like, look at my mana. It does, like, nothing to my mana. And then we could do that and heal. Why does it feel like, like melee is a better spellcaster than a spellcaster class? But we also have, like, crit damage, vitality, health on this. Which I feel like might even be better than having a... Uh, might even be better than having a shield, to be honest. Because that bumps me up to 1.2 thousand health. Um, and it's not like I'm going to be able to block a whole lot in the nether. But I know with the block chance, there is a chance that we can block things. Like normally unblockable things. But I don't know. I feel like that might be a better choice. And then we'll just enchant it. Yeah, just unbreaking. Okay, so let's head on back now. We're going to go see about tackling the Ender Dragon. With all of our new nifty stuff. Alright, I've set my spawn point And we should be good to go. Uh, let me make sure I've got at least a couple potions here. Oh, he didn't get his health back this time though. The last couple times he got his health back, but he did not. This time. Look at all my deaths. Ah. Oh, wow. I was sure that was going to insta-kill him, but maybe not. I was like, man, I'm going to smack this enderman and he's just going to die. Ha! Ah. Seems like I do more damage to him now. Ah! God! Well, I should have popped that a little bit soon, uh, a little bit higher up, because I was wanting the strength off of it, but. Well, at least he didn't land there. Uh, did not mean to. Uh... Oh, and I forgot to put my bravery up. I gotta get used to that. Oh, this takes forever to cast. Oh, God! Well, at least I have healing. Oh, that dragon is flying low right now. I don't like that. But that heal is nice to have, I tell you what. I do feel like I can survive here. All, all, all I'm able to do right now is fight Enderman. So. There we go. I like that uh, that melee attack. First, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Hey, come back. There we go. Oh, look at that damage. Hey. Uh, Oh my gosh. It's like he doesn't want to stay and fight. He just like comes down and like sends me flying. And then he's off again. But yeah, we can do a lot more damage and it takes a whole lot more effort for them to kill me now. Oh, we got our first Spectre. Here we go. Oh, that heal is nice. Why is the melee spec so much better because look like my mana is not bad and I'm able to just keep healing myself and stuff there we go I actually managed to kill one without dying and it's a wonderful day we got another one really 
Give me a... God. God. These specters are awful. Ugh. I'm gonna run. No, let me out of it. Ah. I need like some kind of a... That one dash spell would have been good right here, I think. To get away from him. But I'll just, I'll just kite and heal. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you, Enderman. I'm sorry. Leave me alone! No! Ah, okay, I'm dead. Ah, uh, but we didn't lose our pants. And that was a lot better. It's just those specters. Ugh. They're just terrible. Terrible, terrible creatures. But I was able to survive for a bit. And it's nice because we keep our buffs after death. So if I can just get him to land. I was doing good damage. He's taking back off really quick. Uh, so it's hard for me to get him down and do a lot of damage to him before he's gone again. I got a couple Arguses over there. Yeah, that one saw me. Oh, God. Ah! My gosh! God. Oh, my God! guys it's just the uh i would look at that having an instant aoe god that's so nice like why are the spellcasters made so badly i don't understand like i can actually survive things here i mean this is gonna take like a million years to kill this guy but oh. come on my dragon is like landing Arguses are evil. God. There we go. I'll just heal back up. It's whatever. Yeah, that melee spell's nice. I'm gonna be buffing that up because it takes like almost no mana, and uh, it does a lot of damage. Plus, it's an instant like frontal AOE, which is massive. Like that's all I wanted from the spellcasters, which. The fire and, like, the melee spells do that. But... Being melee... Oh, there's a specter. Ugh. I really need him to land and quit messing about. Up in the sky there. There we go. Let's see if I can get in there on him without attracting... There we go. Oh, I can't hit him with that attack. But it's a spell, so maybe he's immune to that. Hip. Ah. Why you guys gotta show up whenever I'm trying to fight? Ah ha ha! anything. Just keep my health up here. Hey, I played helmets. 
With the music and everything, and the amount of like Lycanites though, this fight feels pretty epic. That is one thing I'm really proud of, is uh, the way I did the Ender Dragon fight in the end uh, on Tails. It's quite a bit different. Um, I mean, it's still the same basic concept, but the fight is quite a bit different. Um, in the way that it works and stuff, so I'm pretty happy with that. But I like the one on here, too, in a way. Now that I'm not just insta-dying from Lycanites. Come on down here. Though it is kind of obnoxious whenever they show up, right as I'm, like, getting some good damage in on the dragon. He's like, here, let me spawn, uh, some fellows for you to fight. And at least I can be greedy now, because I don't instantly die from the dragon looking at me. Even though I probably should back up. Look at that damage. Okay, he's off again. He doesn't stay on the ground as long, probably because I'm hitting him a lot harder. But, oh my gosh, this spec is so much... Like, this is fun, actually. Spellcaster was always just really frustrating because you don't have enough mana to use most of the spells that you have. Is that a bee? I think that's just a bee. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it be. <laughs> hey! Do you mind? Terribly. Ah. What's going on? But yeah, I feel like that defense spell would be really nice on these guys. Because they actually deal massive damage. It's like the only thing in the end now that can hurt me. Oh, I hope that Argus doesn't see me. I'm sure it will. And send me bouncing. Yeah, here we go. Nope, he didn't see me actually. I think it was the dragon. Oh, I need to get out of there though. My health. Now he sees me. Ah, these guys are hard. These guys are tough because I don't have a good range spell to deal with them. And they send me flying all over the place like that. But at least I can use this. There we go. Hey! Let's heal up before I hit the ground. Okay, I'm out of mana now, but... I have to let it build back up. I still got, uh... Oh, I do still need to... I need to pop my buff back up. Get some damage on this guy here. Out of my back up. At least he keeps the Enderman away from me. Kind of. God. Man. Don't send me over towards that Spectre now. There we go. Got a nice spot here to just smack him. Okay, he is off now. Oh, this is so much easier though. It still takes like forever. He's got a ton of health, but... But yeah, like generally, aside from just being chased by specters and needing to heal, I don't feel like I'm just like super desperate on mana. And I'm like throwing out those frontal cone AoEs. Because, like, they take such little mana, like, I can attack, and then, like, hit that, and then attack, attack, hit that, attack, attack, hit that, you know, and get more, uh, get more DPS out of that. Like, this, this spec feels comfortable and feels right and makes it fun to fight things. And not, like, just stand back and chuck a spear as I have mana to do so. I mean, my bow, it's about pointless for me to even bother using that. Let's be real, because I do, like, no damage with it. But, uh, melee, I feel really comfortable. Very, very comfortable. And the thing is, there's actually other spells that I want to get. Whereas with, like, Lightning Mage, it was like, everything just costs, like, half my mana bar to cast. Like, when I was running back uh, to base before we respect, I was using my, uh, my, like, Lightning Dash thing. 
And I was, it was literally at this point taking half my mana bar to cast it. Uh, so I, I would be able to cast it twice, then I have to wait for mana regen. Alright, this is probably going to be it. There we go. And that's it. Oh, we got an adventure map. Hey, you. There we go. Energetic expansion. Oh, yeah, we have that in here, too. There we go. Next generation. Uh, now, what do we get for killing the Ender Dragon? All these potions for respecking, which I, honestly, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to respec out of this now. Because it's actually fun. Uh, whereas spellcasting is honestly extremely frustrating. Uh, we get 25,000. This will level us, uh, but we already have a good start on a level. I don't know if I want to pop it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. Looks like we just got orbs. Yeah. Uh, now, did we get anything cool from this? I mean, we got this plate helmet for level 32, so... Ah, but the armor, the armor is so bad on this stuff. I mean, it's not that different, I guess. I'll hold on to it and we'll see. But I feel like we lose out on that base armor, which hurts us. Okay, well, I tell you what. I know it's about wrapping up point four this episode, though. So, I think we're going to end this one out here. Because it's been a bit of a process to get to where we can kill ah, so much damage. Ah, spell casting, why were you so bad to me? Ugh. Uh, it looks like our portal is over there. Alright, well, I feel strong, I can take you. Oh, no! I'm so gonna die! If I could... Get away for just a moment if I had an ender pearl on me, but it's not on my hot bar. Oh, God, they're in my backpack. God, I cannot. Uh, yeah, I mean, those specters are so bad. That's the only thing in the nether that's just, I mean, in the end, that's just like, yeah, that's not even about to happen. Ugh. And, I mean, one of them's okay. It's like, I can do this. It's just, it's horrible. Two of them is just too much. Okay, but anyways, we are going to wrap up this episode here. And then next episode, when we come back, we're going to head on into the end and start exploring the end. And hopefully not run into too many specters. Because that's going to be bad whenever they send me back here when they kill me. It's not going to be fun times. But as long as we take it safe, and then hopefully we'll level. I mean, specters are going to make it tough, but we'll see. Because I actually have an enjoyment to look forward to my spells when I level. Because before it was just like lightning spear or whatever. Now there's actually things that I want. Like, I really, I really want to buff this up. This is max, which is great. I want to buff this up and all this. And the judgment stacks. I want to get defend. I want to get like all these things retribution but yeah i'm excited about leveling again i actually like the spec and i hate it because i want to play a spellcaster but though i do want to try necromancer and druid at some point because i think those two might be pretty good um but lightning and all that lightning was really bad i'm gonna be honest lightning was really really just not enjoyable and i think specking to that second fire was a bit more fun because we had those instant frontal cone AoEs. Lightning had this huge charge up and like dinky damage AoE. And it was just bad. So. But anyways. Anyways we're going to wrap this up here. And we're going to pick back up come next episode. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, and then hopefully move through the end. And then start doing some maps. I do want to do a little bit of uh, end exploration. And then maybe tackle a few maps. Um, though this one we may want to tackle pretty quick. Because once we level it's not going to be all that good. So we might start off with maps. I don't uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll just like scratch that one and just not worry about it. But anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.